Hello all. Today we will talk about negative relative accommodation. It is a part of orthotic test as of you know. So what is negative relative accommodation? It is commonly known as NRA. It is a maximum ability to relax accommodation while maintaining clear single binocular vision. It has also a direct relationship with accommodative facility. So basically NRA testing is a part of accommodative animalist testing. So what we are going to find out in an NRA test? We are basically going to relax the accommodation completely and we are going to find out the limit of relaxation of accommodation. So when the patient reports first sustained blur at 40 cm, that is the end point of NRA and that we are going to find out. So first we will be relaxing the accommodation completely and that limit we are going to find out in a negative relative accommodation with the addition of plus lenses. So let's see what are the prerequisites for measurement of NRA. We need a trial frame, a trial box, plus lenses and near vision chart. So put the trial frame to the pa on the patient's eyes, have your trial box ready. Give the patient a near vision chart. Let him hold it at 40 cm. One thing you need to keep in mind, the patient should sit comfortably. Give him the near chart holding it at 40 cm. Tell him to fix it on the NA target. And do not change the fixation distance. Now, Add plus lenses binocularly in plus 0.25 steps. In plus 0.25 steps, you can see how the examiner puts binocularly the plus lenses. So, and tell the patient to look and fix it at the NA target. Okay. The patient will see the target clear once you add plus 0.25. The patient tells clear, you again add plus 0.25 that means you add plus 0 0.50 now and then you can remove that plus 0.25 from the trial frame so always add a higher lens and then remove the lower lens why because we are we have fogged the patient eyes so we are not going to uh, release the fog right why because if you are taking out the plus power what will happen the patient will be defogged and the patient will again accommodate so what we are doing basically we are adding plus 0.25 lenses in that binocularly in the trial frame and asking the patient to read out the NA target and he has to report you the first sustained blur. So always make sure you have to be very quick while doing the procedure. The patient should hold the book comfortably. He should not change the working distance. Right? So what you have to note, the first sustained blur. What is the first sustained blur? The time when the patient see the blur for the first time. Then you tell the patient, blink, blink. And if you can make it clear, okay, then you can again add plus 0.25 lenses. If you cannot make it clear, that means it is a first sustained blur. So by this way, we can find out the normal value of NRA. The normal value of NRA is actually plus 2.50 diopters. It can be more also, it can be less also. So the patient should be able to relax accommodation at least to plus 2.5 diopter when you add on plus lenses. And this value is linked with the PFV value in the step virgin test. PFV means positive fusional value in step virgin test. So what we do, we correlate the two values of, two values means the negative relation value and the positive fusional virgin values. What we find out in the step virgin test in the orthotic evaluation. These two values we correlate and find out that whether they are proper or not. So if there is a NRA is very low, that is it is less than plus 2 and all, that means the patient cannot relax accommodation. If the NRA value is too much more, that means the patient is able to relax accommodation or you have made your refraction wrong. 
so it should be around plus 2.5 to plus 3 not more than that that is a normal value of nra so you have to be very careful while measuring nra because that depicts whether the patient is having any kind of accumulative excess or an accumulative insufficiency if he is having accumulative excess it would be difficult for him to relax accommodation so you can find the low nra value okay so these things you have to keep in mind while find the negative relative accommodation thank you